Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a cinematic or letterbox effect so you get this whole cool film look with black bars in the top and the bottom. Now you can apply this to the entire clip or you could transition into it. So if you wanted to, you could start off full screen and then it slowly turns into this cinematic effect. So doing all of this is really easy to do within the shotgun. But at the same time, you're not limited to just having bars on the top and the bottom. So let's go ahead and add our letterbox. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a video track. And then I'm going to copy this clip and put it here. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove the filter that I already have on this new one. And so the first thing you want to do is go to your filters tab and do a search for crop now shotcut gives you three different types of crops so let me start off with circle because this is really interesting and so as i stated earlier you're not limited to just having bars in the top and the bottom or even the shape so this one's really easy you can increase or decrease it and at the same time this color back here will change the color in the background so if you don't like black you could choose a completely different color so that's the first one and so the second one is the one that you're probably going to use the most and that is crop rectangle. So this works very similar to the circle crop. However, it does give you some additional options. Now you can adjust a size and position by putting them in manually or you could do this by manually changing this right here, which is I think the easier one. But if you want it to be exact, you can put the numbers in. So that's one way you could do that. But another thing you do with this is you could also change the radius to a corner radius. So right now it's a square. So if you increase this corner radius, it now has corners around it. So you can have a much different look. And just like the circle, you can change the background color as well. And so the final crop that we have is crop source. So this one does give you some more options. So with this filter, I would say that you can be more precise because you can adjust the top, bottom, left and right values by pixels. Now there's also center and center bias, but I really didn't see a difference whenever I used those. So let's go ahead and add our letterbox effect by changing the pixel sizes for the top and the bottom. And there we go. And if you wanted to adjust the left and right values, you could do that as well. So this is really good to use if you already know the dimensions or pixels that you wanted to use. However, if you want to add some animation uh, to this whole cinematic effect, then this filter won't be able to do that. For all your email management needs, check out AWeber, the preferred choice news at geekoutdoors.com. Sign up today and get a 30 day free trial. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. But the crop rectangle will so we'll go ahead and add that. And once you have it on your clip, we'll go here to keyframes. And the first way we're gonna do it is by using simple keyframes. So here I wanted to change to the letterbox at this point. And I'm gonna go ahead and resize this. And then I'm gonna to go to the beginning of the clip right here. And I'm gonna use simple keyframes to drag it out. So if I actually watch this, it's gonna, slowly but surely animate into our letterbox effect. So the rectangle allows you to do that, whereas the crop source doesn't give you that option to add keyframes. Now, if you want it to be more advanced, you could also use the advanced keyframes. So we'll go ahead and reset everything. So you look up here, this is for more advanced keyframes. So let's say, for example, I wanted to add one right here and I wanted to have that letterbox effect at this point. And then at the beginning, I want it to be full screen. So we'll go back here. Then we'll go ahead and reset the values. And now we have our animated letterbox effect. And with advanced keyframes, you could add even more animation. So say, for example, at this point, I wanted to you know, have it full screen again. But this time, I wanted it to go in left and right versus having it go top to bottom. So let's see how that looks like. And now let's check out our animation from the beginning. So 
it's going to start off, turn it to our letterbox effect, and then it's going to transition into this whole square look. So that's a really easy way for you to add this whole cinematic letterbox effect without animation, with animation, and even using other shapes like circles that you can use on your videos. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you create this whole cinematic effect, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my shotcut tutorials and tips, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.